Um, so it's recording right now. And I'm going to turn my camera around so you guys can see what we're doing. All right. So on my desk is a printout example of three items. The three items are a mug of hot chocolate, a mitten, and a beanie hat. Kind of like a winter hat, kind of, right? Now, they all have one thing in common. Does anyone know what they have in common, all three of them? What do they have in common, Geo? Uh, they have patterns. Correct. They all have at least five or more patterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw all three patterns, or sorry, all three items, and then it's our job to do at least pattern uh, three or four patterns on each of them. So again, we're doing a winter hat, a mitten, and a cup of hot chocolate. All right, with that said, all you need is a blank sheet of paper, just like how I have right here. It's a little blurry on your screen, but it'll get more in focus once I start drawing. Um, and I highly suggest you do this in pencil first, just in case if you make mistakes. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do this in marker so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see, as always. And I think the first thing I wanna start with is going to be the winter hat. Oh, it's a little blurry again, but it has nothing to focus, focus on. So here's the winter hat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curved rectangle on the bottom, just like so. Slightly curved, not too curved. Doesn't have to be perfect either. And this could be the bottom of the winter hat. Maybe I can put this on my paper so you guys can see. There we go. I'm not sure if it'll focus better though. Yeah, it's like getting out of focus. I'll put this back down. All right, next step, I'm gonna do the fluff ball on top of the hat. So it's kind of like a cloud or a piece of popcorn almost. And then you're gonna connect the rectangle with a curved line towards that shape that we just did. So curving from there to there. And again on the other side, so curving from here to there. And there we go. We have the hat. All right, since we're drawing all three items, we can spread out a little bit. So I'm gonna do my next one in the top middle, okay? You guys can let me know if I'm not going too fast and then I'll slow down because I know I've been going fast the past couple classes here. All right, the next one, I want to draw the, um, I'm seeing a lot of comments in the uh, chat. Uh, so we'll do it in instead next. So let's do the hot cup of chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a nice, thin, yet big oval on top. And that's going to be the opening of the hot chocolate. Okay, so nice and big on top. Next step, you want to go down on each side of the oval, and that's going to be the side of your mug. So I went down this much so far first, and I think I'm going to do it differently than my first one. I think I'm going to start curving it now. And I'm going to stop right over here like this. Stop right there and stop right there probably. So it's almost touching. And from here on, I'm just going to draw a slight curve to connect both of them. So maybe a curve like that. There we go. Just nice and slender mug. And it's up to you to decide where you want the handle. You can either have the handle on the left side or the handle on the right side. I think for me, I want to put the handle on the right side. So I'm going to draw kind of like a rectangle on one end. And then kind of the same shape, but larger to go around that. There we go. If you want to add liquid in the inside, all you got to do is create an upwards curve inside that oval. But you don't have to put liquid in the inside if you don't want. Mr. Mill, wait, wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Again, if I'm going too fast, just let me know. I'll slow down a little bit. All 
Good job, everybody. All right. Um, I don't know where Abik is, but I'm gonna have to keep going. All right. For the um, for the mitten, all you're gonna do is kind of like the hat. You're gonna create a rectangle on the bottom, and that's gonna be where the wrist is for the mitten. So mine's about that big. If you're falling behind a beak, that's fine. I'm recording this just in case if you want to rewatch it later. All right, my next step is the thumb. You can put the thumb on either side. I think I have enough room going towards the left though. So I'm gonna draw the thumb. Ooh, that barely fit. And then I'm gonna draw the next part of the mitten. So I'm gonna go up really high. Go over a lot to make sure it's covering more than three fingers. I'm going to cover four fingers and then go all the way back down. And there we go. Now you draw, you draw on all three required items. All you got to do now is to divide them up. So you have sections for your pattern. So maybe for the hat, maybe I'll draw one, maybe two lines. Maybe for the mug, I'll draw, I think, three or four. So one, two, Three, I'll do three. And then for the mitten, maybe I'll draw three lines as well. So one, two, and three. Actually, not, maybe I'll have room for four. There we go. And then what you're gonna do is, if you guys look at my sketchbook example, I've been doing patterns very carefully and I've been trying to draw them um, with care. So you wanna make sure you're taking your time and not rushing. So if you do rush, it won't look as good. I've seen people try to do like a scribble and then color it all with one color. That's not what I'm asking you guys to do. I'm asking you guys to take your time and make this look good. So I did five so far. I did polka dots. I did simple um, snowflakes by doing like kind of like X's and a line through it. I've been doing hearts, uh, peppermint, peppermint uh, candy. I did arrows. I tried to copy the printout over here that I have. I'll try to zoom in for the printout so you guys can see it one more time. So here's the hat. So the hat has like miniature uh, snowman heads. And there's the polka dots and the snowflakes I was talking about. For the mitten, they have a little more advanced uh, snowflake. I don't want to do that though. They have the arrows and the hearts and the castle pattern. And then finally for the mug, for the mug they have um, kind of like a diamond pattern in the bottom, the peppermints. Uh, loop de loops. It looks like I have little candies, and then on the very top, they put cylinders to symbolize uh, mushroom. Uh, not mushrooms. I'm sorry, marshmallows. So that is how um, this project is done. So, anyways, that's that. Um, if you spread yours out like this, it's fine. It probably looks better actually. Um, but I just put mine all in one row, just like that, so I can fit this one on top. And that's it. So if you guys want to continue on, go ahead. Um, try to do at least five patterns at least for today. You guys can always finish this next time. Um, I made so many dividing lines, I have to do, I think, at least 15 patterns to complete it. Because I made way too many lines. But um, yeah, that's the end of the lesson. Anyways, uh, we only have five minutes left. So keep on working. I think I'm going to keep going with mine as well. So maybe I'll make the castle lines like how the person in the example did. I like how they did that. So I'm going to copy them a little bit. There we go. I'm going to color with mint green because I like mint green. Then blue. Uh, one person from the previous class asked how I did the arrows over here. Um, it's pretty simple. All I did was um, two arrows stacked on top of each other like this. And then once you stack them on top of each other, you just kind of close them off like that. 
So that's how I did those arrows over there. And the reason why I thought of that is because it wasn't my idea. It was whoever's project this is. It was their idea. I don't want to take credit for that one. And right, maybe in another one, maybe I'll do stripes. I'm spacing them out because I want to do different colors. There we go. All right, mine's looking pretty good. I don't know about you guys. All right, with that said, I think we have enough time to share. If you want to share with us what you've done with this project or a different project you've been working on the past week, um, now's the time to show it to your camera. Mr. Mill. Yeah, what's up? Oh, good job, Abik. I'm proud of you. Good work. All right, with that said, everyone, you guys can hold your projects up, either this project that we just worked on or a different project. That's fine, too. I would love to see it. All right, let me see what we have here. We have Taylor Wolf. She did, um, is that a book, a sketchbook? That's pretty neat. It's like a cover or a card. Pretty neat. Isabel, nice. Um, is that a Lego figure? Cool. Um, Ivy, she's doing the project that we just did just now. Awesome. Adrian, I see your project. Looks really good. And I see Taylor, she's working on her mug still. Really nice. Ethan, good job. Really nice job. All right, I don't see any other work. Oh, Christian, she made the um, the hard uh, three-dimensional ornament that I taught you guys on video. That was one of the projects that you could have done. That's a really, can you hold it up one more time, Christian? I wanna see it. Whoa, that looks really cool. That's a really cool ornament that you made. He made the three-dimensional ornament. If you guys are wondering how to do it, it's uh, the video is linked in my classroom. All right, with that said, it's 11.29. It's about to hit 11.30. So with that said, I'm going to flip my camera, and then I'm going to say goodbye. All right. See you guys later. Bye, guys.